Hello. Hello, this is the International Space Station. Well, this is President Obama. Who am I talking to? <laughs> Hello, Mr. President. You're talking to the Increment 28 crew and the crew of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Oh, that's funny, see, because I was just dialing out for pizza, and uh, uh, I, I didn't expect uh, to end up in space. Well, yes, sir, it's, uh, it's really an honor and a privilege that you took some time out of your busy day to meet with us. Well, listen, it, it is wonderful to talk to you, uh, and, and I appreciate you guys taking out the time from, from your mission. Uh, I always want to just let everybody know uh, how personally proud I am of, of you and the amazing feats you guys are accomplishing in space. And uh, I, I was uh, here in, in the Oval Office watching you guys take off last Friday. Uh, we're all watching as, as uh, the 10 of you work together as a team to conduct spacewalks and manage experiments and do all the things that are necessary to keep the space station humming. Uh, your example, I think, means so much not to just to uh, your fellow Americans, but also to your fellow citizens on Earth. And, and the space program has always embodied uh, our sense of adventure and ex exploration and, and courage uh, as you guys work in a really harsh environment. Um, and I know that uh, there have been thousands who've poured their hearts and souls into America's space shuttle program over the last three decades that are following this journey with special interest. Uh, and to them and all the men and women of NASA, I want to say thank you. Uh, you've you helped our country lead the space age, and you continue to inspire us. And uh, Captain Ferguson, I realize that you're a, a veteran of previous flights, but uh, it must be pretty special to be uh, the commander on the last flight uh, of the historic shuttle program. Oh, absolutely, Mr. President. And uh, just let me say on behalf of uh, all of the international partners aboard the International Space Station right now, we're all just absolutely honored and privileged to represent our, uh, our home countries in this uh, multinational effort. And to answer your question, sir, yes, it is, uh, it is an extreme pleasure to be a, a, just a part of this fine crew of four who will represent our country uh, on, the, uh, on the final space shuttle mission uh, scheduled for uh, an undocking here in just a few days and a landing at Kennedy Space Center in, uh, in a little less than a week. Well, I, I understand uh, that you guys are also doing some uh, pretty important uh, mission work up there. Uh, I understand there's something about an innovative robotic uh, refueling mission uh, demonstration. Yes, Mr. President, we have a, a piece of equipment on board that has the, a, it's a technology demonstration unit for the special purpose dexterous manipulator to work to show and prove the technology uh, to robotically and remotely service satellites. And we're hoping that with the work that we'll be able to do with the test bed here on Space Station, it'll lead us to uh, further advance our robotics capabilities. Well, that's terrific, uh, and it's a good reminder uh, of how NASA technology and research uh, oftentimes has huge spillover effects into the commercial sector uh, and, and makes it all that much more important uh, in terms of people's day-to-day -day lives. So uh, I also understand that Atlantis brought a unique American flag up to the station, uh, one that was flown on the very the first shuttle mission. Flown. And uh, one that will reside on the uh, yes, sir. ISS uh, until American Commercial Space Company launches astronauts in, uh, to the station. Yes, Mr. President, we, uh, we brought a flag that was flown on uh, STS-1, and as a part of a special presentation, uh, a little ceremony we're going to have before we undock from the International Space Station, we'll present that to the space uh, station crew, and uh, it'll hopefully maintain, we'll maintain a, a position of honor until, uh, until the next uh, vehicle launched from U.S. soil uh, brings U.S. astronauts uh, up to, uh, to dock with the space station. Uh, and, and I understand it's going to be sort of like a capture the flag moment here for commercial uh, space uh, flight. So uh, good luck uh, to whoever, whoever grabs that flag. Oh, that's an excellent point, sir. Uh, we sure hope to see some of our commercial partners climbing on board really soon. And uh, I know there's a lot of competition out there. A lot of people are fervently working towards this goal to, uh, to be the first one to, to send a commercial astronaut into orbit. And uh, we look forward to seeing them here soon. 
Uh, I, I also understand today marks an anniversary uh, of sorts for us and uh, our Russian colleagues. Uh, 36 years ago, we launched uh, uh, a U.S. Apollo spacecraft and uh, a Soviet Union uh, Soyuz uh, capsule uh, towards a, a rendezvous in space. And, uh, you know, it, it's pretty exciting to know that uh, American uh, astronauts and, and Russian cosmonauts uh, aren't just shaking hands 36 uh, years later, but uh, are working every day uh, with partners from other nations to, to uh, represent uh, humankind coming together uh, in space. Uh, yeah, Mr. President, and uh, our crew is really international right now. Here is representatives of three agencies, uh, NASA, Roscosmos, and JAXA. And we're working as a one family, actually, not as a crew. We are more than just uh, part of or representatives of each country. We are one big family. And now those guys who appeared uh, almost a week ago uh, shared with us uh, our brilliant International Space Station. Well, it, it, it is a wonderful testimony to the human spirit. And uh, you need to be like a family, because I'm assuming you have to share pretty uh, cramped quarters in a bathroom. So, uh, you know, I, I, uh, my wife and uh, my daughters are always crowding me out. Uh, so uh, ho hopefully you guys have, have a more organized arrangement than we do. Oh, absolutely, uh, Mr. President. We actually have three bathrooms on board, and we have a gym. Uh, we have several bedrooms. It's uh, it's probably one of the more uh, it's probably one of the more spacious homes uh, that there is outside of planet Earth. Well, the, uh, uh, well, look. Uh, while this mission marks the final flight of the space shuttle uh, program, it also uh, ushers in a, an exciting new era uh, to push the, the frontiers of, of space exploration and, and human space flight. Uh, you guys will continue to operate. Uh, or crew members like you will continue to operate the, the ISS in coming years uh, and seek to use it to advance scientific research and technology development. I've tasked NASA with an ambitious new mission to develop uh, the systems and uh, kinds of space technologies that are going to be necessary to conduct uh, exploration beyond Earth and, and ultimately sending uh, humans to Mars, which is obviously no small feat, but I know we're going to be up to the task. So. Uh, I, I just want to say uh, how proud I am of all of you. Congratulations to NASA, to all our international partners, uh, and all of the personnel past and present who have spent countless hours and untold effort in making the space shuttle a, uh, and the International Space Station uh, a unique part of our history. So uh, accept my gratitude on this tremendous accomplishment, and, and Godspeed as you guys return home next week. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. And once again, on behalf of uh, all the international partners on board, we're, uh, we're privileged that you took some time to speak with us today, and we're honored to represent everybody, uh, everybody on the planet Earth. Thank you, sir. You bet. Take care now.